You may not have that here. You have to adhere to the rules and regulations like everyone else. You are not exempt. It's purely because Dave Boyer was embarrassed by his disgusting behavior. I'm being retaliated against because of not these cameras, but who is behind the camera. What's going on? Levi Trumbull reporting here. Clara is here. You're welcome. Uh, so here's why we are here. As you guys remember, I went to the Board of Supervisors meeting in Huntington Township, Pennsylvania, not too long ago. And I sort of sounded off uh, to David Boyer uh, about the fact that he was trying to take restrictive measures as it relates to the recordings inside of that building. As you guys know, Huntington Township Watch uh, ran by our good friend Marie. She was having an issue because they passed this resolution. You guys will remember that where they were trying to say that they can control the types of recordings and when they can be conducted and how they can be conducted. As you guys know, they cannot do that, but evidently they are back again trying to infringe upon Marie's and Huntington Township Watch's right to record in those meetings. So as you guys know, we showed up, they threw out the unlawful resolution, they basically ripped it up because they knew that it was infringing upon the First Amendment. So now what they're trying to do is they're trying to regulate where Marie sets her tripod. They're trying to control the area in which she is filming. Now, I want to be clear. It is perfectly reasonable to tell somebody that they cannot obstruct an entranceway. Obstruction, you can't do that. That's not protected. But as long as that's not the case, as long as your tripods and your gear and your cameras are somewhere that is not obstructive, keyword obstructive, then you're fine. But evidently, they're trying to, you know, create more bogus policies, do more bogus things that are First Amendment infringing, and uh, we might have to show up yet again to get this situation worked out. So here is some recent video taken by Marie uh, from Huntington Township Watch. Check it out and we'll catch you soon. The first item uh, I'd like to talk about is last month we adopted a policy on recording devices and the policy, of Marie, I think you, Mr. Ganji, received a copy of that. But I noticed you turned this camera on, and I noticed you turned that camera on, so I assume that is your equipment. Is that correct? Yes. Are you aware that our policy has designated that area as the location for the cameras? I've been using it for the past two months in this aisle. Yeah, and, and we adopted the policy yeah. last month. So are you ignoring our policy, or I'm respectfully asking you to put it where our policy says you can have it? I can't put it on the table. It has to be on here, okay. on the tripod. Well, it can still be on that table. It can be on the table. These are attached to a tripod. I can't remove them. Okay. <coughs> I mean, why do you want it suddenly on the table? Because we adopted the policy last month, and now but, we're going to enforce okay. the policy. If you don't, I mean, certainly, if you want to put it at the back of that table, I don't have a problem with that on the side there. But I, I would like you to move that. This is a camera, too, correct? It's a camera and an audio okay. recorder because none of you speak up. Okay. But again, our policy says that it, it has to be located Nothing there. On the table, it indicates. You know, can we, can we discuss this later? Because right now, I'd like to get on with the meeting. No. I mean, really. No, we, we can't because we, you know, we. We adopted a policy. This is harassment. It's really not. We, it's it is. That's been there for since what April, and nobody said anything. Okay. And, and last month when you adopted that, you said nothing about this can't be here or that. So, uh, like I said, because I said it would be in effect at the next meeting, and now it's in effect at this meeting. So, that's our policy. That's not on the table. That's not on the board table. But it is not at the location we provided in our policy. But that has to stay there because you don't speak up. Not You refuse to speak up. The engineer tells everybody, just read it off the screen. Nobody can see that screen if you're sitting behind here. So I don't know what the problem is. There's there's not a crowd in here. 
Uh, we recorded when there were 50 people for the zoning hearing. I don't, this is harassment of me. I know it's retaliation. None of you like me. But this attorney should have more professionalism and just say, leave it be for now. And I know that you are the big cheese here and that you are very domineering. But we provide this as a public service to this community, to the residents. I think our policy is reasonable and fair, and we're allowed to adopt the policy. So we well, have why order is that in our bothering you? Because it, it shows Gus and the engineer and the roadmaster. Is that why you're upset? No, because that's against our policy. You know. Well, it, why is it against the policy? Why is that? You know, ma'am, we, we, we debated this last meeting and the meeting before. We didn't debate it last meeting. You had your opportunity to no. speak, okay? And, and at and that time, you said nothing about this. Because of the meeting. <laughs> so, again. If you had told me that, I could have rearranged it, perhaps, with the editor that that. Okay. But... This is impossible right now. So it's not. In, you, it's not impossible. You, you're choosing. You, you're choosing not to move it. That's not impossible. Okay. It is possible for you to move it. You know what? You, you can have a camera. You're so despicable. This whole group is so despicable. I can't wait to speak up on the Green Briar debacle. Repeat what you just said to me. No. You may not have that here. You have to adhere to the rules, and regulations, like everyone else. You are not exempt. And in the resolution, it says if any operator, just check it, if any operator wants to put it in any other location, all we have to do is ask permission from the chair. Read it. Do you want me to find right you? Here it is. Okay. Do you want Did me to? you have permission from him? I'm asking his permission. He indicated it doesn't bother him. And what it is, is it's purely because Dave Boyer was embarrassed by his disgusting behavior at screaming at our editor. And because that went viral and because you got all the calls from YouTube subscribers and channel creators and people on TikTok and the other uh, on X, I'm being retaliated against because of not these cameras, but who is behind the camera.